All right, Coach, first question is from Tom Kaker. Maybe, Tom? There we go. There we go. Uh, Fran, what's your thoughts on uh, Alabama State and, and what you've seen from them? I thought they were really impressive in the Ole Miss game. Uh, I thought they really competed. They got a lot of different guys who can play, who can score. Very quick, very athletic. They run really good stuff. Uh, I think they have a good mixture of, of veteran guys and some young guys. Uh, yeah, I think they're they're a really good team. Uh, very well coached. Uh, Tyler Cashman. Hey, Brian, I hope you're doing well. Um, obviously, with Brock and uh, Owen being from the same high school, just what, what was the sequence of events of, of recruiting them? Was there one that you kind of helped you get in the door with another? Or how did that kind of happen? Well, remember, they, they only went to the same high school for one year. They were they were AAU teammates. We started recruiting uh, Owen very early. Uh, he was brought to our attention by his AAU coach, Gavin Sullivan, very early in the process. And, you know, we fell in love with his game and uh, offered him the sophomore year. And, and he, 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 he moved the process along very quickly. He visited all the places he was interested in visiting early and, and got the decision done early that, you know, everybody handles the process differently. Uh, and then their AAU team was really good. And so I got to see Brock play a lot with, with Owen. And, uh, you know, we've known about Brock for a long time. Just watched him continue to to grow as a player. And, uh, you know, we were aware of all the knocks against him. And really, there was only one. And, it, you know, was he big enough to play at this level? And all he did was affect every game in an incredibly positive way, no matter who he was playing against. And then all the way to being Mr. Basketball in Illinois. So. Uh, you know, I have a good relationship with Sean Taylor, the coach over at uh, at Moline. He does a fabulous job. Obviously, a storied program, storied field house, Wharton Field House, where they play. I've been over there where they've they've got eight thousand people to a high school game. So uh, those two guys, uh, you know, came in ready, and you're seeing that you know, they don't rattle. They're really good players. And they're both character guys, so we're we're really excited about both of them. All right, next question is from Mike Kloss. Hi, Fran. Can you would you talk in some de detail about your two new signees? Yeah, you know, Co Coop's a little bit different because uh, I've known Jr. since I recruited him uh, as a youngster, uh, and of course he came to Iowa. And then he, he and I uh, uh, talked a lot after I got the job. You know, he he was very supportive of me when I was hired, and he started bringing Coop up as a youngster to our camp. It was about seventh grade where we said, "Okay, this kid's going to be special." We offered him then, and uh, and just stayed on him. I mean, he's just, he's special. I mean, he's so, so gifted in so many ways at his size He's you know, legitimate six, eight, but he, he makes shots. He makes plays. He, he really understands the game. Uh, he has incredible, incredible stamina. He never, he never seems to get tired. Just keeps moving, just keeps running around and he's always open and he, he flies to the glass, uh, I, I think he's got a chance to to be be a great one here without question because he's also coming from such a great family and such unbelievable character. Chris was a little bit different because we didn't see him until the last weekend of the recruiting period. So, uh, you know, they had a big event down in Memphis and NCAA brought 400 kids in while it was the same – uh, USA Basketball brought in the top five AAU programs 
from all the different shoe company circuits and then some also independent ones. So they had some of the best players in the country at one location. And we saw him uh, and we're really impressed with him and started recruiting him. Uh, I've known Brian Cardinal, who played at Purdue, played in the NBA for a number of years. He works with the NBA Academy, along with Greg Colucci. Uh, those guys do an unbelievable job. So, you know, we started recruiting him through that organization. And uh, we went down and saw him recently. Brought him in for, obviously brought him in for a visit. We went down to Miami to see him, Courtney Eldridge and I. He is, he has a motor uh, that it, you just don't see very often. And when you're 6'8", 225 and have a motor, those guys affect the game. He's got really good skill set. He can put it on the deck. He can shoot it outside. He makes plays. Phenomenally athletic. Uh, and I'm just really excited about both of these guys. I think they're going to be impact players without question. Uh, I just want to make sure I have this clear. Uh, with Cooper, when did you make your first – offer yeah i think it was at the end of his it was either the end of seventh grade or the beginning of eighth grade i don't remember the exact date but it was before he got to high school thanks mm -hmm. uh tom caker Grant, i want to ask you um how you go about kind of trying to get your team in defined roles early in the season what's the challenge of that as a as a coach to do especially early in the year yeah, the, 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 the good thing is, and I say this all the time, when you start practicing in, in June, you have more time to sort that out than you used to. Uh, so what you try to do is stay true to what you told them when you recruited them, how you're going to utilize them. So you don't tell them one thing and then they get here and you completely change that. That's going to be problematic. And that happens a lot. You know, I, I'm – pretty straightforward, pretty transparent in the recruiting process, how we're going to use you when you get here. Uh, I don't try to confuse them in any way. Like this is who we have. This is who we're recruiting. This is who's going to be here when you get here. So, you know, kind of who plays what position, uh, but at the same time, as you know, Tom, we have a lot of guys that can play more than one position and, and, and are effective that way, but it's, it's more how they fit into our style of play than than anything. Uh, you know, you may run into a situation where a guy thought he might get more shots, but I mean, I pretty much give everybody the green light to shoot the ball when they're out there. So those guys don't they don't play tentative at, at any point in time. They're aggressive offensively. They attack. Uh, they know I'm not going to yank them if they miss a jump shot or a floater. So, you know, I think the most important thing there is communication. Uh, so that there's not a situation where, you know, in my mind, he has this role. In his mind, he has a completely different role. So as long as you're constantly communicating what you want from them and what opportunities you're giving them, there's typically never a problem. Uh, Tyler? Chris and uh, Keegan played against each other last night. Um, just were you able to catch anything from that? And, and what, what were kind of your thoughts on seeing that? I, I just think it was a great opportunity and a great thing for, for the Murray family. Uh, Kenyon stopped in the office last week. We spent some time together and he was excited about it. I know he took Mike and Patty Street out to the game. They were all out there together. And I just, I, I, I'm just so thrilled for, uh, you know, Kenyon and Michelle to have that opportunity to see that happen. And, and, and most importantly for, for Chris and Keegan to, to have, you know, sort of grown up together and played, whether it's the North Dodge or North Liberty Rec, uh, Prairie High School against West High. And all of a sudden, you know, you're competing against each other at that level. I'm just so proud of those guys, so happy for, for them, for their family. And it was just a tremendous night. Obviously, I followed the game closely. I, I wasn't able to watch it, but I was following it on my phone. Elliot Clough. Good morning, Fran. Um, talking about these new guys, Chris and, and Cooper, do they remind you of, of any other player you've coached, uh, specifically in Iowa? 
you know, I, I, I think they're different. I mean, you know, anytime you, you try to answer that question, there's always some component maybe of a particular guy, but there's really nobody that stands out. Okay. He's just like, you know, Coop, is he just like Jared Utah? No, he's does some things like Jared does some things like Aaron white, you know, does some things, uh, like Joe Wieskamp. Uh, and then the same thing with Chris, you know, he's does some things like Aaron, like Laji, like Tyler cook, but, uh, you know, and also maybe like Wee's camp, you know, so they're different, uh, but they bring, uh, they bring what we, we need them to bring. I mean, obviously they're, they're both legitimate six, eight, so they can play in the front court, but they both have perimeter skills so they can play on the wing. Uh, they can, we can switch with them. They both can score. I mean, Coop Maybro will end up being one of the best shooters to ever play here. Uh, you know, so that that is something that uh, is a particular skill. I mean, you, you know, he could be in the Jordan Bohannon range uh, level, you know, with, with his shooting ability. So, uh, you know, I prefer not to compare them, to be honest with you, and just let them be who they are. All right, Coach, last question here. We'll go Tyler Cashman. How did uh, Lodi Dembele just get on on your radar in the recruiting process? Well, he played he played on a pretty high profile AAU team, and then uh, so we saw him there, and then he played at St. Benedict's, you know, for Mark Taylor, you know, very highly respected program on a national level, highly respected coach on a national level. I've known Mark for thirty years. And so, uh, you know, we felt he fit kind of what we were looking for in this class in terms of his skill set, his position, his size and strength. Uh, we were pretty certain that, you know, Chris Murray was going to leave. So we wanted to get another big guy in that class that, that we felt could play right away. And uh, so Courtney went up to see him and I went up to see him after that. And I just fell in love with his game. And then he, when he visited here, he's just a delight, delightful guy. I mean, the players loved him. And and uh, he's assimilated incredibly well. Really kind of fell in love with Iowa, you know, when on his visit. So uh, we're thrilled to have him. All right, perfect. Thank you for your time this morning, Coach. Thanks, guys. Thank you.